Hi there, sixth grade math students. Now that we've reviewed area of a triangle, let's learn to find the area of parallelograms and trapezoids. Let's begin with parallelograms. Figure ABCD is a parallelogram with a base BC and a height AX. If we cut out triangle ABX and we move it to the side where AB is placed against DC, rectangle AXYD is formed. These two figures cover the same area. Therefore, we will calculate the area of the parallelogram in exactly the same way that we would calculate the area of a rectangle by taking its base times its height. The tricky piece here is identifying the base and the height of your parallelogram. Any side of your parallelogram can be considered the base, and the height is perpendicular from the opposite side of the base, almost exactly like finding the height of a triangle, where the height is perpendicular to the base and passes through an opposite vertex. Notice that XY, our line over here, XY, has the same length as the base BC in our parallelogram here. AX is the width of the rectangle and is also the height of the parallelogram. So see here, it's the width of our rectangle, but here it's the height of our parallelogram. So if we use B for our base and H for our height, then the area of a parallelogram simply is equal to its base times its height. Now that we know the formula, let's solve. Let's take a look at parallelogram ABCD. The base of the parallelogram would be line BC, and it would be 8 centimeters long. So area equals 8 will be our base. Now let's find our height. Is our height going to be line AB or line DE? It cannot be line AB because it is not perpendicular to our base. Therefore, our height must be line DE, which is 4 centimeters long. So the area of our parallelogram is equal to 8 times 4, or 32 centimeters squared. Here are a couple to practice on your own. Find the base, height, and area of each parallelogram. Assume that each square measures one unit by one unit. Press pause while you work. There are a couple more problems to try after these two. Here are problems three and four. Press pause while you work and we'll finish up with numbers five and six after this. Now find the area of each of these parallelograms. Just in case it's tricky to read. This is 13, this is 21, this is 12, this is 15, this is 24, and this is 14.5. You do not have to fill these in if that is not helpful to you. You may go directly to the formula, which is area equals base times height. All right, press pause while you work, and when you come back, we'll start working on trapezoids. Let's begin looking at trapezoids and derive the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid. This figure, ABDE, is a trapezoid with a base BD, and a height of EC. Line AE is parallel to line BD. A diagonal line here, labeled as BE, divides our trapezoid into two triangles. Both triangles have the same height, as you can see here and here. The area of our trapezoid would be found by finding the area of the purple triangle and the area of this pink triangle. So one half of line AE times the height plus one half of line BD times the height would equal the area of our trapezoid, right? Now we can use what we know about the distributive property to simplify this problem a little bit we can pull out one half times height 
which simply leaves us with line AE plus line BD inside our parentheses. So the area of a trapezoid is equal to one half times height times the sum of the lengths of the parallel sides, which we will mark as bases. So the parallel sides in a trapezoid are called the bases, and we're going to label one base as base B sub 1, and the other as base B sub 2. Okay? So here's our formula. A equals 1 half times height times B sub 1 plus B sub 2. A quick thing to note that makes this a little easier, your height is always the perpendicular distance between the two bases. Okay, let me show you this one more time so you can see how the formula works. We would find the area of this trapezoid by taking one half, because we're going to think of our trapezoid as two triangles, remember? So one half of the height, which is this distance right here, times B sub 1 plus B sub 2. Okay. This is B sub 1, that's base 1, or the base of this triangle. Here's B sub 2, or the base of this triangle. Okay, So when we're finding the area of our trapezoid, what we're really doing is dividing it into two triangles, finding the area of each of those triangles, and then adding it together. However, the formula does that for us so that we don't have to do those processes separately. Let's apply the formula to finding the area of a trapezoid. In this figure, T, U, V, W, line TW is parallel to line UV. Let's find the area of this trapezoid, T, U, V, W. Okay, first things first, let's write our formula. Area equals one half times height times B sub one plus B sub two. Okay, we're looking for the area. Let's substitute in what we know. What's the height of our trapezoid? It's 14 centimeters. How do I know that's my height? Because it's the parallel distance between my two bases. Next, we're going to multiply that by B sub 1, 26 centimeters, plus B sub 2, 12 centimeters. Do you think it matters which order I put those in? In this case, no. Okay, so now we're going to take this times 26 plus 12, which is 38, correct? So let's keep working on this. this. 1 half times 14 is 7 centimeters times 38. All right, keep following those PEMDAS rules and finish this up. 7 times 38 is 266 centimeters squared. Okay, so the area of of trapezoid TUVW is 266 square centimeters. Okay, here's some practice problems for you to try. Assume that each square in these examples measures one unit by one unit. Fill in the questions underneath to find the base, height, and area of each trapezoid. There will be two problems like this on the next screen, so press pause while you work and go on when you're ready. As promised, here are 9 and 10. There will be two more problems after this, so press pause while you complete these, and the last two practice problems will be on the next screen. All right, now please find the area of each of these trapezoids. Once again, just in case it's a little too small, this number here is 25, this is 39, this is 13, this is 21, this is 13, and this is 10.6. Okay, good luck. I'll see you for our last idea in the chapter after you finish these two practice problems. Now let's apply the formula for the area of a trapezoid to solve for the area of part of the trapezoid. So the area of this trapezoid, ABCD, 
is 4,196.5 meters squared. Line AD is parallel to line BC. Find the area of triangle ADC. So we're going to find the area of this particular triangle knowing what we know about the rest of the trapezoid, okay? First, we're gonna use the trapezoid area formula to find the height of the trapezoid. We know the length of the bases, so now we just simply need to find the height. All right, so if the area equals 4,196.5 meters squared, then one half of the height, which is what we're looking for, times B sub one, which is 56, plus B sub two, which is 98, uh, if we work this out, we should be able to solve for the height and then use that height to find the area of our triangle. Okay, so let's work this out. 4,196.5 meters squared equals one half times H times 154. 4,196.5 meters squared equals H times 77. Now we are going to divide each side by 77 to get the height of our trapezoid, and that is 54.5 meters. Yes, indeed, I did use my calculator for this. Please go ahead and use your calculator as you see. It is necessary to solve these problems. All right, so now we know that the height of our trapezoid, this distance right here, is 54.5 meters. Now we have all the information we need to solve for the area of this triangle. The area of triangle ADC is going to be equal to one half of its base times its height. Let's substitute in one, what we know, which is that the base is 56 meters and the height is 54.5 meters. When we multiply that out, we get an answer of 1,526 meters squared. So the area of triangle ADC is 1,526 meters squared. Now, if you wanted to find the area of triangle ABC, this triangle here, that would be a simple matter of subtraction, right? You could just subtract the area of ADC from the overall area of the trapezoid. Here is your final practice problem for chapter 10.2. The area of the green trapezoid shown here is 1,248 centimeters squared. Base sub one, B sub one is 22 centimeters and base two, B sub two is 38 centimeters. Use the information you have available to calculate the area of triangle A, B, D. That is this triangle right here, okay? With a base of 22 centimeters. All right, good luck. When I see you tomorrow, we'll do some more work on finding area of parallelograms and trapezoids. See you then.